Lesson 1. Representing Numbers in Decimal, Binary and Hexadecimal To representing decimal numbers as binary numbers, we can use the short division by 2, with remainder method. Firstly, write the decimal number as the dividend inside the long division symbol, and 2 as the divisor outside the symbol. Suppose we have a decimal number 181 and we are going to convert it to binary. We can write the number 181 as the dividend inside the division symbol, and write the number 2 as the divisor outside the symbol. Next, we will divide the dividend by 2. Write the quotient under the symbol and remainder to the right. Dividing 181 by 2, the quotient is 90, and the remainder is 1. Continue downwards. We shall divide each quotient by 2. Stop when the quotient is 0. Once the quotient reaches zero, the binary form of this number can be found by reading the sequence of remainders from the bottom to the top. So the decimal number 181 can be represented as 10110101 in binary. To represent binary numbers as decimal numbers, we will multiply each bits with its multiplier, and sum of the products. Suppose we have a binary number, 10110101, we will convert it to its decimal form. Firstly, we will write down all the bits and their corresponding multipliers. The multiplier of a bit is 2 to the power of the bit index. The bit index of the rightmost bit is 0 and it increases one by one, from right to left. So the rightmost bits multiplier is, 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. Next, we have 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. Next, 2 to the power to 2 which is 4, and so on and so forth. Secondly, we will multiply each bit with its multiplier, starting from the rightmost bit. So the product of 1 and 1 is 1, the product of 0 and 2 is 0, the product of 1 and 4 is 4, and so on and so forth. Finally, we will add all the products together. The sum of the products is 181. Hence, 10110101 can be represented as 181 in decimal. To represent hexadecimal numbers as binary numbers, we will look at each hexadecimal digit. Refer to the table showing the corresponding decimal number the binary representation and the hexadecimal representation, we can find out a 4 bits binary number for each hexadecimal digit. For example, we can convert the hexadecimal B5 to its binary form. Note in C++, 
you can prefix the number with 0x to indicate that the number is in hexadecimal form. Refer to the table shown on the right. We can find out that hexadecimal B can be represented by 1011. Hexadecimal 5 can be represented by 0101. So hexadecimal B5 can be represented by 1011. To represent binary numbers as hexadecimal numbers, we will firstly break the bits into groups of four. Each group can be represented by a single hexadecimal digit. For example, we have a binary number 1011-0101. We will break the eight bits into two groups. Refer to the table shown on the right. 1011 can be represented by hexadecimal B. 0101 can be represented by hexadecimal 5. So binary number 1011-0101 can be represented by hexadecimal B5. To represent hexadecimal numbers as decimal numbers, we will firstly convert the hexadecimal number to its binary representation, and then from binary to its decimal representation. For example, we have a hexadecimal number B5. Hexadecimal B can be represented by 1011. Hexadecimal 5 can be represented by 0101. Next we multiply each bits with its multiplier and add the products together. The sum is 181. So hexadecimal B5 can be represented as 181 in decimal. To represent decimal numbers as hexadecimal numbers, we will first convert decimal number to its binary representation, and then from binary to it is hexadecimal representation. For example, the decimal number 181 can be represented by 1011 1011 correspond to hexadecimal B. 0101 corresponds to hexadecimal 5. So decimal number 181 can be represented by hexadecimal B5. Is it easy? It is your turn now. Complete the tasks in Activity 1 before you move on to Lesson 2.